Okay, so for this project, you're going to need a cup of water with a paintbrush, uh, some water-based markers, and the way to find out if your markers are water-based is by just placing them down on a piece of scrap paper and adding some water. And if they move around on the paper and create kind of like a watercolor ink, then you've got yourself a water-based marker. So Crayola markers are usually water-based, so you should be fine if you collect those. And then for some paper, so the paper you wanna use for this project, I would su suggest a mixed media paper, kind of like this one here uh, from Blick Studio. It is an 80 pound paper. Um, something like a watercolor paper is 140 pounds. Um, and your printer paper is about 40 or 50 pounds. So you can see that the heavier weight paper uh, is going to, is a thicker paper and it's gonna absorb water better. Um, so 80 is just fine, but if you do use a printer paper, your results just might vary and you might get wrinkling in your paper, but that's okay. You can still create. So you can see uh, with my markers, I've already laid them out in a scale of light to dark in my color. So my color value lightest to darkest in the purple, in the blue, and in the green. So you'll want to just check and get kind of your value scale going with that. I'm gonna start out by using just my purples in this project, and then I think I'm just gonna add blue for a sky. So to decide what colors you'll be using, and then you're going to take that scrap piece of paper and you're just going to tear along kind of like a, an edge of almost like the edge of a mountain scene that you might see. So kind of like when you look into the distance and you see the range of the mountains. And you're going to start by placing that down on your little piece of paper uh, where you want it to start, so like what edge you want. And you're going to begin with your darkest color first. Okay, so placing your torn piece of paper on your edge like so, you're gonna just take your darkest darkest dark and you're going to go right along the edge like this. And right to the edge there and then you're going to bring that up just a little bit like so and you're going to do your next color. So you just want to ensure that you're putting spaces in between each of these, if I didn't say that. All right, so this, this marker wasn't, didn't work very well. It doesn't have a lot of ink in it. So uh, you can see that it, it was really light and maybe I should have put that on the top, but next time I'll change that. So you get your little mountain scene of your gradient, darkest dark to lightest light, best you can, right? And then like what I can do is up here at the very end, I'm just gonna add my sky color. Uh, again, keep that space right in between them all, okay? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna start by doing your sky and coming down to your darkest. So from your sky to your lightest to your darkest. And you're gonna add water and just what you wanna be careful of is just that edge. So you wanna keep that nice clean edge and move that, that ink around on the paper with some water. Might need to twist your paper to make it easier to blend those colors together. And you might get some fun results of, you know, them leaking together or doing some unique things, but that is the idea of this. It's kind of like a uncontrollable watercolor, mistake into masterpiece or into whatever piece it is. Mm 
and you can tilt it up and it will do some fun things like run into the next one and keep going. All right, and there you have it, a fun gradient landscape. Uh, have fun, I think I'm gonna do another one. What are you gonna make?